Welcome to my channel today, this is the King's Tutor. Okay, if you're the first time of joining us, please subscribe to our channel, like, comment, and share. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for your support. Okay, now I want to see a question that relates to arithmetic uh, progression and uh, geometric progression. Okay, the question said the first and the last terms of an AP are 5 and 89 respectively. If the sum of the AP is 611, find the first one, the number of terms in the AP, and the second one, the common difference. Now, to solve this, you should be conversant with AP. Okay, now they are talking about the sum of the AP. Now, sum of an AP has two formula, basically. Okay, now the first formula is Xn into n over 2 a plus n. Okay, why the second one is xn into n over 2 2a plus n minus 1 d. Okay, these are the two formulas for the sum of n star of an ap. Okay, so in this situation now, the first one is used when the first and the last term is given. Why the second one is used when the common difference is given. Okay, so now they say the first and the last term of an ap are 5 and 89 respectively. Now it means we are going to use the first word formula. Okay, so now I said where our xn stands for sum of terms, y a is always our first term, y l is our last term. Okay, y n is what the number of terms you are asked to find. Now in this now, they said the first and the last term of AP are 5 and 89 respectively. Okay, now they said the first term are 5 and the last term is 89 respectively. Now if the sum of the AP is 611, that is Xn is 611. Now find I, the number of terms. So they want us to find the first one, N. Okay, so at this point, there are some persons that might not know the actual formula to use. That is why it's important to know the formulas as we got this. So we use the first one. So our xn now is 611. So I have 611 equal our n is unknown. n over 2. Our a is 5 plus our l is what? 89. So if we solve that, we have 611 equal n over 2, 5 plus 89. Will give us 94. Okay. Now we we'll solve down. Now this is the same thing as 611 equals 94n over 2. Okay. If we have a whole number, it multiplies the numerator. Okay. Now from this point now to simplify, we have 94 times n times 1 equal 2 times 611. 94n like times 1 will give us 94n equal 2 times 611 will give us this is 2 2 this is 12 okay now dividing both sides to get n we have to divide both sides by 94 so if this is divided by 94 our n is equal to now 1 2 2 divided by 94 will give us 13 Okay. So the first one, the number of terms in the AP is what? 13. Now the second one is said, find a common difference. Now in this situation now, we cannot use the first formula to find common difference because D is not in the formula. And also, we cannot um, use um, the normal formula because it was not given the sequence form. So we're going to use the second one, whereby D is there. Okay? So said using the second formula which is x n into n over 2 2 a plus n minus 1 d to get a common difference which is the second question so we said where the sum of terms x n it was given as 611 okay and uh, our a is given the first term as 5 our we have looked for it as 13 and the common 
difference we are looking for, which is this unknown. Okay, so we simplify as we simplify x. The sum of them is six one one is equal to our n is thirteen. Thirteen over two into two our e is five plus our m is 13 minus 1 and our d is unknown so we will simplify for that 611 equal 13 divided by 2 will give us 6.5 into 2 times 5 is 10 plus 13 minus 1 is 12 12 times d will give us 12 d okay now from this point now we have to open this bracket so it means all this will multiply this. So we have 611 equals 6.5 times 10. You give us 65 plus 6.5 times 12. 6.5 times 12. You give us 78D. Okay. Now in this form we have to collect like terms. Now this will have to move to the other side. So we have 611 minus 65 equals 78 so 611 minus 65 will give us 546 equals 78 d. Now to get the divide both side by 78. So we have 78 d over 78 equals 546 over 178. And this cancels this. My d is now equal to 7. Okay? So the first question, which is the number of terms in the AP, is 13. Why the common difference is what? 7. Thank you very much. And if you are joining us for the first time, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Thank you very much.